Hello, my name is Eric Butterbaugh, and I'm a T-Cubed instructor, and I'm also an online PD consultant with Texas Instruments. And this is one of my favorite Algebra 1 activities um, because it really um, hits a lot of the fundamental concepts in Algebra 1. Um, we're talking about distance, rate, and time. But in talking about this, this very common situation, we're actually talking about a lot of additional things as well. We're talking about slope and y-intercept, uh, the intersection of two lines, patterns in a table, um, equations and solutions to equations. So there's uh, there's really a lot wrapped up in this activity. So let's take a look at it. Um, so the situation here is we have two trains, and one has already left the station. It's 80 kilometers away. And one is still at the station, but it's going to leave shortly. And we'd, we'd like to analyze the situation and determine when the trains are going to be the same distance from the station. And what this is, is it's an animation. So we can start that animation, and we can start asking students questions. Um, you know, what, which train is going faster? How do we know that? Um, when do you think the trains are going to be the same distance? And um, what the simulation allows us to do is we can actually pause it when they're the same distance. Didn't quite get it. There we go. All right, so this is showing us that after two hours, the trains are the same distance away. And um, what we can do is we can not only consider this simulation, but we can look at a graph of this situation. And that's a really, really common um, algebraic tool is, is looking at a graph. So we have the same sim simulation. We've got train one which is in blue, and that is actually in blue on the graph. We have train two in brown, and students can see that the, those initial conditions appear in the graph also. So train one is further away. That's represented here by the y-intercept. Train two is still at the station. That's represented here at the origin. And we can start the animation and we see that train two is gaining on train one. On the graph, we can see that the distance between the two trains is decreasing. We've got our coordinates that relate to the time and distance of each train. And we can pause it at that solution. And that's actually the point of intersection on the graph. And that's a huge algebraic concept because um, we've solved an equation. And we've done it um, looking at a simulation and looking at a graph. Now, we can tell that train two is going faster because the, the little dot is moving quicker. But we can also look at the slope of that train. So what we have here is a spreadsheet um, with time and distance. And it's linked to this scatter plot here. And this, is the, this spreadsheet functions the same way that an Excel spreadsheet would. We've got a calculation here. And if we increase the rate of a train, we see that change reflected here in the spreadsheet. All right, so the rate is 7. So the values in this column are increasing by 7. Now they're increasing by 8. All right, so it's a nice way to examine patterns. and we can tell from the slope of this that the higher the slope, the faster that train is going. Right. And finally, we can bring it all together with, uh, with the graph and the equation. So what we have here is a movable line. Right. And you can add that movable line if you don't have it by pressing Menu. I'm going to analyze and add movable line. And once you've done that, you've got the equation of this line. And if we look at the speed, which is this value that we can change, we see that it's the, the coefficient in this equation. And if we increase the speed, we see that that slope is getting higher. If we make the adjustment in that line, we see that that speed 
matches this number in our, in our equation, which is um, really, really a big idea in, in Algebra 1. So again, it's my favorite activity because we're talking about linear functions, slope, y-intercept, um, and we're actually solving equations 